The Impressa J5 from Jura Capresso. With stunning modern design and breakthrough coffee technology, it's the latest and most compact coffee center in the Jura Capresso line. Created for the coffee enthusiast, this streamlined, ultra-quiet coffee center is both beautiful and easy to use. On the exterior, this compact machine was designed to be appreciated from any angle, perfect for a kitchen island. And on the interior, the advanced ceramic valve technology creates the thickest crema and a truly hot cup every time. The J5 is the quietest, most versatile coffee center on the market today, ideal for your home, your office, or the boardroom. It's the perfect choice for in-home entertaining. It makes all the coffee drinks you can imagine, fresher and more aromatic than in a coffee bar. Your J5 prepares one or two cups of espresso or high-pressure brewed crema coffee with the touch of a single button. And like every Jura Capresso fully automatic coffee center, it grinds, tamps, brews, and cleans up every time it makes the perfect cup of coffee or espresso. And you can also make tea or hot chocolate with your J5. The bright LED dialog system displays easy to understand instructions and shows you the strength of the coffee or cappuccino you are brewing. With six beverage buttons and fully programmable features, you can select the size, strength, and temperature of all your drinks. And now overriding your permanent setting is easier than ever. The fast, user-friendly rotary dial lets you customize your cup. You can prepare one cup exactly the way you want it without affecting the permanent button settings. And just about any size cups will work with your J5. You can move the coffee spout up and down and in and out to accommodate large and small cups. You can also place two cups underneath it. The J5 gives you two ways to create your favorite milk drinks. The Dual Frother Plus for easy frothing in the cup or pitcher, and the Froth Express for cup after cup of perfectly steamed and frothed milk. The J5 has many state-of-the-art features. It has electronic sensors to tell you that your water and bean levels are low. And the commercial quality conical steel burr grinder is sound insulated to let you operate the machine without disturbing a conversation. The stainless steel lined thermo block heats quickly, assuring very short wait times before initial brewing or steaming. And a separate ground coffee funnel lets you brew a different variety of coffee, such as decaf, when you have regular beans in the bean container. The J5 has automatic cleaning cycles and the unique Clearill water filtration system, which purifies the water and eliminates decalcification, making maintenance as easy as making coffee. The J5 is a perfect combination of three-dimensional beauty and ease. Available in both matte black and glossy piano white, the J5's elegant silhouette, stainless steel components, rich platinum metallic front, stunning cup illumination, and rotary dial ease make the J5 the most sought-after super automatic coffee center on the market. Now with the J5, it's easier than ever to create your own personal coffee sensation. The Impressa J5, if you love coffee. Follow these quick steps when setting up your J5 for the first time. Place your J5 on a flat water and steam repellent surface and place a cup underneath the frother. Now let's turn on your J5. The main power switch is on the right side of the machine. Press it to the on position. Once this is switched to the on position, the on-off button on the top of your machine will illuminate, indicating that you can start the machine. Press the illuminated on-off button. The LED will prompt you to fill the water tank. Remove the tank and fill with fresh, cold water. It's important to remember that the Clearill water filter should not be installed before or during the initial setup. Please install the filter after your machine has been set up to avoid the possibility of small grains from the filter getting inside your machine. The filter installation is covered in detail in the Clearill filter section of this DVD. Once the water tank is in place, the LED display will read Press Rinse and the rinse button, located on the top of your J5, will illuminate. Make sure there is a cup under the frother. 
Now push the rinse button. The machine starts pumping water into the internal system and out through the frother. The display shows system filling. When the water stops, your J5 will begin heating. Once heated, the display will again read press rinse. Place a cup under the coffee spouts and push the rinse button. For a few seconds, water will flow through the coffee spouts. The display will now read fill beans. Now open the bean container and remove the lid. You may find small traces of ground coffee in your new machine. This is normal. In order to correctly calibrate the burr grinder, coffee beans have been ground by your machine in the factory. Now fill the bean container with whole beans. The J5 has a protective grid designed to keep fingers a safe distance from the burr grinder. This grid can be easily opened for cleaning. We explain this later in the DVD. Your machine will read ready and is now prepared to make all your favorite coffee drinks. When using the machine for the very first time, we recommend grinding and brewing two cups and discarding them. This will assure the grinder dispenses the correct amount of coffee. Each morning, when you turn on your J5, the display will read heating as the internal thermoblock system heats. Once your machine has warmed, it will ask you to run a rinse cycle. Place a cup underneath the coffee spouts. Press the rinse button to run a quick hot water cycle to warm all internal parts, including the coffee spouts. You can make coffee, espresso drinks, cappuccinos, lattes, hot chocolate or tea once the LED display reads ready. Now let's look at how easy it is to brew perfect coffee. Place a cup underneath the coffee spouts. There are four preset coffee buttons, a small and large cup button and double cup button for each size. These make two cups at a time. Temperature, coffee volume, and coffee strength for these four buttons are preset in the factory. Later, we'll show you how to change those settings to your preferences. Let's start by making a single cup of espresso. The J5 always brews in two steps. It first infuses some hot water into the coffee, pauses for a few seconds, and then continues brewing. This two-step process brings out the maximum flavor. Now let's make two cups of coffee. Place one cup under each spout. The J5's spouts move both up and down and in and out to accommodate just about any size cup. Now press the two cup coffee button. The J5 brews coffee under high pressure, which according to the majority of coffee experts is the best system for maximum flavor and aroma. The fine foamy layer on top of the coffee, called crema, is the trademark of pressure brewed coffee. It's the crema that traps the fine aromatics and the light gaseous flavors that register on the palate. And with the J5's rotary dial, you're able to override any button setting without permanently changing the preset values. Say for example, you'd like a larger, stronger cup of espresso than you would make by pressing the preset single espresso button. Begin by rotating the rotary dial until the readout says extra strong. Then press the single espresso button. Once the espresso begins brewing, again rotate the rotary dial to adjust the volume of coffee you desire, in this case, two ounces. The rotary dial is the easy way to make your coffee exactly the way you like it. You may want to change the grinder to a finer or coarser setting. With most beans, a medium grind will produce the thickest crema. With dark, oily beans, we recommend grinding in a somewhat coarser setting to avoid over-extraction. A quick reminder, adjustments to the grinder setting should only be made while the machine is grinding. We recommend wiping the bean container from time to time to remove coffee oils. The best time to do it is when the display shows fill beans. Make sure the J5 is switched off. Use a flathead screwdriver to loosen the screw. Lift the protective grid and wipe the inside with a dry cloth. 
please remember, flavored or coated beans should not be used in the grinder. The coating will eventually clog the grinder. Now just close the grid and fasten the screw before refilling the bean container. Perhaps you have regular beans in your J5 bean container, but somebody would like a cup of decaf. You can use this funnel for pre-ground coffee, bypassing the grinder. Open the funnel lid. The J5 automatically disengages the grinder, and the display shows fill pre-ground. Just fill a maximum of two scoops of ground coffee into the funnel, then close the lid. Now select the cup button of choice, and the J5 tamps and brews the pre-ground coffee. This is also a great way to use flavored pre-ground coffees. If you're creating drinks with milk, you have your choice of two separate frothing systems to allow you maximum control and convenience when frothing milk for cappuccinos, lattes, and hot chocolate. The Froth Express is already attached to the system. The Dual Frother Plus is located in this handy storage compartment. If you always want the same amount of milk and froth in your cup, or you make three or more cappuccinos in a row, the convenient Froth Express is the choice. It's faster and more accurate to use. You can fill cup after cup with hot milk using the endless supply of steam in your J5. The Froth Express dial has three positions for heating milk. The frothing position heats and froths the milk. The steaming position, which heats without froth, and the center position on the dial, which is for steam only and completely blocks the flow of milk. When warming milk, the knob is adjusted toward this center position to increase the milk temperature. Remove the small protective cap and connect the milk hose to the Froth Express. Insert the other end into your container with cold milk. Because this system siphons milk to mix with hot steam, it's important that the parts connect tightly, creating a seal. Begin by pressing the steam button. The display shows heating. When the display shows ready, press the steam button once again. Milk will begin siphoning and heating through the Froth Express. The duration of steam is also a programmable function. It can be programmed to steam for anywhere between 3 and 120 seconds. We'll look later at how to program your personal settings. And remember, you can always modify the settings on any button on a per cup basis using the rotary dial. You can also start and stop the flow of steam at any time by simply pressing the steam button. Let's look at how to make a latte and a cappuccino at the same time. Place a cup under the Froth Express and press the steam button. The display shows heating. Within seconds, the display shows ready and you can begin steaming and frothing. First, we'll prepare the milk for the latte. Begin with the Froth Express dial in the down position and press the steam button again. The steamed milk will begin flowing. To steam and froth milk for the cappuccino, move the Froth Express dial to the up position. Now move the cup of steamed milk under one of the coffee spouts and add a new cup for the cappuccino milk. Now press the steam portion button. Now move the cappuccino cup under the other coffee spout and add a shot of espresso to each cup using the two cup espresso button. On your left is a perfect latte, and on your right, a frothy cappuccino. We suggest running a quick cleaning rinse each time you use your Froth Express. Start by removing the milk hose and milk container. Place an empty cup underneath the Froth Express and push the hot water button. By pumping a small volume of hot water through the Froth Express, you can easily flush out the small milk droplets. Simply press the water button again to stop the flow of water. To thoroughly clean the Froth Express parts, simply fill a small bowl with warm water using the hot water button and add a capful of cappuccino cleaner. 
separate all the Froth Express pieces and place them in the water to release any remaining milk residues. We recommend soaking the Froth Express pieces for a minimum of 10 minutes, although they can be soaked overnight without damaging any of the parts. Before using again, simply rinse and reassemble. For just a cup or two at a time, you might want to choose the traditional Dual Frother Plus, which is stored in the upper compartment. To use the Dual Frother Plus, begin by removing the Froth Express and attaching the Dual Frother Plus. The Dual Frother Plus is fast and easy to use and easy to clean. It gives you total control over both the amount of froth you'd like and the temperature of your milk. When the frother sleeve is up, the milk will be heated and steamed. This is how to prepare milk for lattes. When the frother sleeve is down, a dense milk froth will be created. Hot frothed milk is used when preparing cappuccino. When frothing, we recommend warming the milk with steam first, then pushing the sleeve down to create the froth. This ensures that both the froth and the milk are warm. Here's how it works. Begin by pressing the steam button. The display shows heating. Within seconds, the J5 builds steam. When the display shows ready, steaming and frothing can begin. Start with the sleeve in the up position. Immerse the tip of the frother into the milk and push the steam button again. First, heat the milk for a few seconds. Then push the sleeve down and watch how the froth forms on the top of the milk. When you have enough froth, simply press the steam button again to stop. If you need more froth or you want warmer milk, just push the steam button again and frothing will resume. Now pour the steamed milk into your cup. Add a shot of espresso and ladle the froth on top the perfect cappuccino. The J5's dual frother is simple to clean. Just push the sleeve to the up position and wipe it clean with a warm, damp cloth. Your J5 also dispenses hot water, great for making tea, cafe americano, and preheating cups for all your drinks. First, let's make tea. Place your teacup with a tea bag underneath the frother and add as much water as you'd like. You can program the hot water button to dispense from a half ounce to a full 15 ounces. And remember, you can always override the pre-programmed volume using the rotary dial. Now let's make a cafe americano. Start with a shot or double shot of espresso. Then move your cup underneath the water dispenser and add hot water to taste. Remember, you can always stop the flow by pushing the hot water button once again. Pre-warming your cup with hot water can keep your coffee up to five degrees hotter. Fill your cup with two to three ounces of hot water and discard. Then brew the coffee of your choice into your preheated cup. Your J5 produces cappuccinos, lattes, espressos, and coffees precisely the way you like them. With its fully programmable features, you can select and program the size, temperature, and strength of each one of your drinks, one button at a time. Let's take a look at all the functions you can change or look up. Press and hold the button in the center of the rotary dial until you see the rotary dial illuminate. The J5 displays the first function, Rinse, which offers various cleaning programs. The J5 will automatically remind you when to run any internal routine cleanings. This function also allows you to run intermittent cleaning programs if you wish. Details can be found in the operating instructions. The next function is Buttons. This is where you program the coffee volume, strength, and temperature for each of your coffee buttons. Next is filter. We'll be installing this later. Hardness is something you'll need to set if you're not using a clear filter. See the operating instructions for further information. Energy lets you set your machine to a power saving mode. For details, see the operating instructions. Time allows you to set the time of day. Once you set the actual time, you can also program an auto on time. This way your J5 is already preheated when you awaken. 
The Off After feature lets you set the number of hours after last use your machine turns off automatically. The Information function lets you check all your machine's records, such as how many cups the J5 has made with each button, how many cleaning cycles it has run, and how many filter changes have been made. The Display feature lets you select the time format, either military or standard, and the liquid measure in either milliliters or ounces. The Language function lets you select from five languages. And finally, there's Exit, which takes you out of the programming mode and back to Ready. Let's look at how easy it is to customize presets for your J5's buttons. Begin all programming by pressing the button in the center of the rotary dial. Scroll using the rotary dial to Buttons and again press the button to confirm this is the function we're changing. When the readout says Select Button, choose one of the four coffee buttons to program. Let's change the permanent settings for the single cup coffee button. Your J5 will then give you three values to set, water volume, cup strength, and coffee temperature. Scroll to Water and press the button. Using the rotary dial, increase the volume by rotating clockwise. To decrease the volume, reverse the rotation, counterclockwise. Let's set the volume to 5 ounces. Now just press the button once again to confirm the new setting. Still changing settings for the single cup coffee button, rotate the rotary dial to the strength function and press the button. You can program this cup button to mild, normal, strong, or extra strong. Let's select Strong and press the button to confirm the new setting. The last single cup coffee button value you can change is the temperature. Scroll to Temperature and press the button. You can select between Normal and High. Let's program this setting to High and press the button once again to confirm. To exit programming for the single cup button, simply scroll to exit and return to buttons. If you want to program different coffee buttons, you push the button in the center of the dial again and select the next coffee button to program. To exit programming completely, continue scrolling through functions until you reach exit. Press the button inside the rotary dial once again to get back to ready. The J5 also has an easy shortcut for programming volume for all six beverage buttons. Let's start with the single cup of coffee. Press and hold the single cup coffee button until the display shows enough. As soon as you have the desired volume in your cup, press the coffee button once again. Your machine will read OK, confirming the newly programmed volume setting for this button. This visual programming method also works great for the steam portion for cappuccinos and lattes. Push the steam button. The display reads heating. After a few seconds, the steam is ready. Push and hold the steam button until the display reads enough. When you have the desired amount of frothed milk in your cup, push the steam button again. Now move the cappuccino cup under the coffee spouts and push and hold the espresso button until the display shows enough. Once the desired amount of espresso is in your cup, push the button again. Now each time you use these two buttons, steam for frothed milk and the single espresso button, your J5 will recreate this exact cappuccino. Let's take a quick moment to install and activate the Clearo water filter. Press and hold the button in the center of the rotary dial until it illuminates. Rotate the dial until you reach the filter function and press the button to begin programming. The display reads filter no. Turn the dial and the display will read filter yes. As we're inserting a filter, push the button to confirm. Now remove the water tank to install the filter. If you use tap water, we highly recommend installing the Clearol filter. For any other water, like bottled or distilled water, see the explanations in the instruction book. 
Once the filter has been removed from the bag and rinsed under running water, attach the extension rod and push it tightly into place in the water tank. Using a Clearal cartridge improves your water quality by taking out calcium, chlorine, and other unwanted elements just before brewing. It also makes decalcifying the J5 obsolete. For more features and properties, see the instruction book. Fill the water tank about half full and return it to the machine. The display will read Insert and the Rinse button will illuminate. Next, place a 20-ounce container under the steam nozzle and push the illuminated Rinse button. The display will read Filter Rinsing. For the next 90 seconds, cold water will be pumped through the filter and out through the steam nozzle. During the activation, the water may be slightly discolored. This is not harmful and will not affect the taste of your coffee. When the filter has completed the rinse cycle, your J5 will stop automatically. The machine will warm up and then return to ready. The display will remind you automatically when it's time to replace the filter. For details, see the operating instructions. Your clear old water filter, in order to function properly, should remain wet, allowing water to pump through the system. Here are a few tips on preserving the clear old filter when the machine is not in use. If you won't be using the machine for a few days, make sure you leave an inch or two of water in the water tank. The next time you use your J5, replace it with fresh water. If you do not use the machine for weeks, we recommend removing the filter from the machine inserting the bottom of the filter into a glass of water and storing it in the refrigerator. Once you use the machine again, simply install the filter in the water tank. There's no reprogramming necessary. A powerful memory chip in the J5 monitors all functions to keep the machine in good working order, and its display reminds you when it's time to clean the machine. It also automatically monitors the water tank and the used coffee grounds. When the display reads, Fill Water Tank, simply refill the water tank with fresh, cold water. Don't worry about the pump running dry. The water tank will always keep a reserve of approximately 6 ounces of water. After 16 cups of coffee, your J5 will automatically prompt you to empty the grounds. The overflow tray, along with the used grounds container, slide out easily and can be emptied and rinsed with warm water. Move the coffee spouts up, then lift and remove the tray carefully. Please remember to empty the grounds container and water in the tray each time you remove the tray. Simply replace the tray, making sure the four parts engage properly. Your machine is ready to make coffee again. The J5 also monitors the internal brewing chamber and tamping area. After each 200 cups of coffee, it will remind you to run a short tablet cleaning cycle to remove coffee oil buildup in those areas. You can find details in the operating instructions. Jura Capresso's Impressa J5 makes your coffees the way you want them. It's smart, user-friendly, and brews all your coffee drinks perfectly every time. It's the perfect system, perfect taste. Should you have any further questions regarding your J5's use and care, please see your local Jura Capresso dealer or contact the Jura Capresso Customer Service Department at 1-800-220-5701 or ask your questions online at contact at capresso.com. You can also visit our website for additional product information. We're at www.capresso.com.